this is CY once again, right? Uh, today I'm just going to show you my workflow on the um, Elaine M3 or commonly known as the uh, EM19 M3, right? Which is actually the dual boiler espresso machine from Molesto, right? So if you are first time joining my channel, once again, this is CY, right? Um, my channel is all about having fun making coffee, right? So if you are first time joining us, do remember to click on the subscribe button right and uh, do like our video and if our video is not up to your standard right please bear with us and try not to click on the unlike button and uh, if you uh, have friends that have common interests do share our videos with them and uh, let's see how we start on uh, my normal workflow right so once again this is the dual boiler from Molesto right the EM19 M3 right and uh, yesterday I have modeled the the steam one so now the steam one works pretty well right so now i can activate the switch by using uh, the steam lever here which i'm going to show you later on right so normally what i'll do is i'll heat up my cup as well as the bottle filter right now i'm using a double spout one right because i'm making two small little cups of latte Right, uh, nowadays I don't really use the scale anymore. Um, normally I'll just eyeball the, the shot quality. Right, uh, and besides, um, I roughly know the amount of espresso I'm actually extracting. Right, and the consistency and the viscosity of the espresso will tell me uh, how much how much is uh, is how much is good, and uh, whether the the consistency is also good as well. Right. So um, today I'm going to use my uh, Eureka Mignon Specialita. Right. So let's top up the beans here. Normally, I'll just top up enough, right, for a, a one or two days. And my current setting on the Eureka Mignon Special Ita is uh, I grind for about 10.8 seconds for a double shot. Right, that will roughly give me about 18 grams of coffee beans. So that I don't have to wait and wait and, and, and wait using my scale again. So that's uh, something I try to achieve. Right, so let's grind the beans. Let me try to pull on the dozing ring. I can see that the dozing ring doesn't really fit in very well. Right, you keep seeing me doing this because the uh, because I'm dozing about 18 grams, so um, the coffee ground will actually uh, scatter out. Right, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure that the coffee stays inside the polar filter and not uh, spattered outside the polar filter and wasting coffee ground, right? So, um, I think today we don't have to use the WDT tools, we right? just throw it level. Right, and use the cookie press, right? Right, this is the self-leveling self cookie press. I think it's more effective than the calibrated hamper. Right, I prefer this version. Right, so I've already warmed up my cups. Right, so let me bring you down to see the shot right, quality. Um, activating of the brew head is actually very easy by this switch here. Right, this switch is actually to activate the brew. Right, unlike my other uh, machine, right, the E61, you have to activate the lever, right. So, and um, this one, right, the uh, EM, uh, sorry, the uh, Germline uh, 3131A, right, uh, is actually activating the button here, right. So this one is the most convenient, right. This one is a very traditional one, and this one is in between, right. Um, the switch, of course, if they can improve the finishing will be better. But you know, for the price of the machine, you can't really complain that much. So let's see the shots of the quality. Right, the shot looks a bit choking. And it's only coming out from one side.
but after a while it looks okay. Right, the shot quality looks pretty okay. Uh, it's going to be slightly over expected, but I'm going to make a latte anyway, so uh, it doesn't really matter that much. Right, you can see I'm heating about 42 seconds. Right, but the shot quality looks pretty good and the color of the espresso is very rich and very nicely colored. Right, so let me show you how I do the steaming. Right, as you can see now, right, um, now I have the steam arm installed. So I would like to purge the steam arm first. Right, so you just move the steam arm inside and then just switch on, right? Right, and it's done, so it's actually pretty easy. Right, so now let me get some milk and let's froth. Right, I, I ran out uh, of the milk already. Uh, I have to go and buy some today. Right, but let's see. Right, so now let's uh, try to steam the milk. Right, so you can see that with the steam arm, right, the, the process of steaming milk will be much easier and much smoother. Right, let me wipe it down. Right, and of course you can push it in and you can push, right? Right, so you can see that it's much more efficient. Right, it's a bit too much bubble, but let's try. Caramel looks good. Can't really see much. I think I've uh, introduced too much bubble into the milk. Okay, this one is quite disastrous, right? I should have transferred the milk to another cup, right? But uh, with the introduce, introduction of the steam lever, right, uh, it, it makes the process of uh, making latte a much more pleasant one. Because uh, sometimes with um, machines at the side, it is very hard to access the, uh, the steam button here, right? So with this, it's definitely much easier now, right? Okay, so this is CY once again. Thank you for watching, right? This is my usual workflow for the molesto if I'm making a latte like this. Right, so thank you for watching and stay safe and see you very soon.